okay so here what i am trying to show you is uh, ep rom <coughs> ep rom is uh, uh, another type of memory or uh, you can think of it as a read uh, only memory it is erasable that is uh, the speciality programmable read only memory we have seen in pld's uh, when we were learning about programmable logic devices and there we saw how to design it and what are those now here what i am showing you is erasable programmable read only memory means you will be able to re erase it rewrite it again reuse it and then you can do the same process again and again means you can it's kind of a, a writing phenomena you can think of means like uh, you are i am calling it as a rom and i can write it means rom are not supposed to uh, we are not supposed to write anything right but slightly that that's why i'm telling uh, this has this uh, property of writing as well so read write memory uh, in read write memory you can think of right but uh, the writing speed will be very uh, less compared to the reading speed so uh, writing speed would be around uh, in in um, a microseconds and uh, uh, reading speed will be in nanoseconds so uh, it will be much more faster in when you are reading the content from the rom uh, instead of writing okay but still it gives the uh, the the ability to user to uh, erase the content and rewrite some with some other data and you reuse it right so that's what you can think of uh, with the erasability how we gonna erase it uh, that i'll tell you later first i'm going to tell you is we are not using here a normal mosfet uh, we'll be using something called famos which is a transistor uh, similar to nmos but with slight change floating gate avalanche mosfet that's the name floating gate you can think of it this gate here i've made this structure you are already aware of nmos right this is the n plus n plus source drain and then this is the substrate and here you have cg which is something called control gate and this in the center you have this floating thing is floating gate okay there are two gates first gate second gate and both are uh, we have to distinguish that's why one is called as floating gate another is called as control gate floating spelling is wrong you you don't mind okay <coughs> so what is the what is why it is called as floating gate because there is no electrical connection to it okay I, 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 around this you have substrate or uh, not substrate oxide okay uh, but uh, this is floating in the sense that you don't have any electrical connection now how we are gonna use uh, this this transistor or you can call it as mosfet uh, for our purpose means like erasable type of uh, memory we want right so uh, what part uh, I, i'm just giving you a brief uh, like uh, top view you can go uh, in depth in this when you'll uh, study vlsi and all so what happens it's working is uh, similar to nmos uh, here you can see you'll apply some vds voltage mostly the source will be connected to ground and vds voltage will be something like 5 volt i'm just taking a random number and you will apply at control gate 25 volt now you might get short how i'm applying 25 volt it is just for short duration like for microsecond you'll just apply 25 volt so that you'll be able to achieve what you want right? now what will happen see when you have vds here you have applied some drain source voltage and if you'll apply enough Kind of gate voltage like um, greater than threshold voltage you'll you'll have the channel formed and it will provide the current right it will conduct now once you will provide the small uh, means like for short duration 25 volt what will happen uh, the channel will be there uh, the conduction will be there but because you are applying such a high voltage for short time some of the electrons will jump and go to the uh, floating gate that is negative charge will come in inside floating gate so that is what happens normal whatever the normal function was it will stay as it is like nmos but since you are applying so, such a high voltage for short duration time some of the electrons will jump from the channel to floating gate and it will reside there for uh, 10 5 10 years until and unless you will erase it okay 
so what what is the benefit of this so you will have some mathematical formulas i'm just showing you a simple thing so that you'll be able to relate it in device terms if you will go you'll get a long formula so this is the value of threshold voltage your threshold voltage is like q is equal to cv only where q is the charge retained inside the uh, fl uh, floating gate and c is the capacitance between this control gate and this this floating gate in between okay so that's how you can imagine since it is a negative charge so this guy will be positive right multiply so if you have more charge negative charge means threshold will be more and if the threshold will be more you need to apply a high control gate voltage for its conduction okay this thing you are doing while programming okay and when you have more threshold voltage i mean the threshold voltage is high and then when you you are applying control gate voltage that is reading the stuff right so there are two phases like one is programming and one is how to read it read the room this is read only memory right so you need to know how to program it and how to read it For reading part i will tell you later on first i am just showing you how we are programming it so the charges will come when you will apply high voltage so you can think of two states logic one when there is no charge inside this floating gate and that's when your threshold voltage will be less let's say four three volt and another state logic zero when there is a charge inside floating gate where you can think of by using this threshold voltage would be increased why the negative charge is not there negative sign is not there because negative charge is there now charge is negative 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 gets multiplied and uh, that's how you can imagine like uh, voltage is increasing threshold voltage is increasing as of now you have to think only this you have two states in famos one is with charge inside floating gate another is without charge in the floating gate when you'll have no charge inside floating gate you're calling it as logic one where threshold voltage is less and when you have charge inside this your floating gate uh, then it is called as logic zero charge uh, is there and the threshold voltage has increased D don't think like this is the only formula there are a lot of fermi level and all things are coming in this expression which i have ignored uh, that you will see only when you will <laughs> get into the depth i'm just showing you at the top level okay so floating gate means floating is there avalanche <sighs> sorry there is also one term will come here avalanche injection sorry about that injection because in uh, electron uh, the uh, charges will get injected from the the channel to this floating gate right that's why and if, since you will have more gate right it means like more charges here for this conduction of this famous you need to apply uh, more uh, gate voltage or control gate voltage that i'll tell you for reading okay so this is like programming it or you can say it like writing it you are designing the, the a transistor to have either state zero or either state one right state zero means again i'm telling you there is a charge inside this means threshold voltage is more state one is no charge inside this means threshold voltage is less that's all now i'm gonna tell you how to read this thing how to uh, when you have designed when you have programmed this in this way how you gonna read uh, a transistor like what voltages you will apply uh, how you gonna know that it is carrying logic one or logic zero so that i'll tell you now how you gonna read it see imagine now your your famous or the transistor is programmed either with zero logic zero or logic one now how you gonna read it means like you have now your rom ready uh, the transistors are uh, the are uh, are programmed now you have to uh, as a user you have to read it so what you will do you can see this graph right you have the control gate voltage here and you can see the current flowing through this right uh, you will have the, some current now there are two threshold voltage vt0 and vt1 let's say this is the, your same voltage 3 volt and 7 volt so 3 volt means it is representing logic 1 right logic 1 and 7 volt means it is representing logic 0 you can think of <clears throat> Right? Why? Why? Because when you have charge inside this floating gate, you you are representing with logic zero, right? So as a user, what you will do, you will apply a voltage at control gate between these two points, right? Vt zero and Vt one. Let's say this point you are applying, and you will see what is the current. If you get some current, 
that means it is logic one means the transistor is designed for logic one if you are not getting any current means the logic is designed for logic zero okay so that's how you have to figure out means like you it is restricted that you have to apply between these two uh, points let's say 5 volt you are applying and if you are getting a current means like according to this curve means it is logic one and you are not getting current means like because this graph is here it is not cutting at this voltage means you are not applying enough voltage to read it like right? logic zero means the your transistor will not switch on you can think of uh, if you will apply uh, more than 7 volt then only your uh, the transistor with lo uh, which is programmed with logic zero will be able to switch on and then it will give some current else it will not give so you are applying very less right although you are applying more than this guy uh, so the the transistor which is programmed uh, with the logic one that will give current and you will get to know that yeah this transistor is uh, logic zero and this transistor is logic one right so hopefully you are able to see that how i have programmed it and now how i have read it so that's how the famous uh, uh, transistor is used in in uh, in uh, designing this read only memory now you might think how i'm gonna erase it so let's say in b previous case what i was telling you right how to design it for logic zero and logic one if you have to completely erase means like you can't erase first of all bitwise but you have to completely erase the whole memory and you have to use uv radiation okay this is uh, one of the drawback it is erasable but it is old but uh, you can only use uv radiation means like you have to uh, take out the ic from the circuit uh, then you have to put in in front of the uv radiation you will have some sort of hole in your ic and uv radiation if you will provide for half an hour or one hour all the all the transistor will show then logic one right why logic one because uh, there is no charge means like charge will come down to the the channel here or substrate or it will go to control gate okay so that is what the meaning of uh, erasability is so if you leave erases all of them will be will be um, uh, programmed to logic one and if you if you apply some voltage like 25 volt for some microseconds then uh, you can design it for uh, means like program it for logic zero so that's how you have to you, this will work okay erasability is coming you can see how i've used the programmable right programmable is like logic one and logic zero how you are programming it and erasability is this stuff uv radiation so this is a problem because first thing is uh, you can erase uh, you can only erase full memory you go, you are not able to erase a single bit or something or single transistor so that is one of the drawbacks second is you have to eject it from the circuit and then do the uv radiation and then put it back so it is kind of a uh, problem right it means like you don't want this this cumbersome task you want uh, the circuit to 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 get erased without doing these things means like extra uh, uh, work you don't uh, want to do and you want the circuit to uh, means ic to be remain in the circuit and you want some uh, way to erase it right so that's where double ep rom comes but first i want to uh, show you how to use this uh, famous transistor to 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 make a make a rom okay so how, what will be the grid structure that i'll be telling you now now here you can see how to use it <laughs> so let's say this example i have taken two four bits i have taken here is so these are your address lines these are your bits line right now first i have to program these transistors here you can see these transistors are looking different they have a floating gate in between this is the symbol of famos okay these are famos now instead of nmos and drain is this position source is this position in all so source is connected to ground you can see thing see and two of the transistors i have made in blue just to represent that it is programmed for logic zero these two and these two are programmed to logic one how i have programmed it at the gate i have applied for short duration 25 uh, uh, volt micro uh, for microsecond and at a drain source i have applied high, uh, 5 volt 6 volt and i programmed it uh, the charges uh, went uh, to floating gate and i stick it here okay and then i stick it uh, similarly you can imagine for this guy as well and for these guys we have not done anything 
they are just normal uh, behaving as normal uh, transistors right so that's why these guys are uh, designed as logic zero and these guys designed as logic sorry these guys are designed as logic one and these guys are designed as logic zero right blue means logic zero black means logic one now you, you this is how you got the memory rom now you want to read it how you gonna read uh, you put uh, r0 between uh, the the values i told you right these two curves were there no so we have to put in between let's say this is 3 volt and this is 7 volt so i am applying r0 5 volt here and at the same time i am keeping r1 is equal to 2 volt means within this range so that both these two transistors will be off i will only read this row then right so that's how i am applying the voltages so if you will apply 5 volt which is between 3 and 7 volt so this guy will be off because it is programmed to logic 0 this guy will be on right when it is on this is off this will not do anything right you won't be able to uh, get any uh, data right so what what you will get uh, if this is off means i'll i'll write so if you uh, if you will perform this activity this guy will be on means black guy and uh, blue guy will be off right so what will be the output here what you will get so this guy is on means drain and source will be shorted means like on so this point will now not be vdd uh, there could be resistance i have not shown it uh, i've just shown it with the vdd so just assume that there will be resistance some resistance as well so uh, d will be s and this point will connect to ground now so here you will get ground means zero so here you will get output one right so one you are getting at this point let's say let me call it as b0 and this is b1 this point here and here so your b0 is one and b1 is since this is inactive means this will not be connected to this position means vdd will come as it is and b1 will be zero right so what you stored here here you stored a logic one here you stored logic zero and you are getting here logic one and logic zero right so that's how you have to use it so this is during the programming you programmed uh, that way and this is why reading you are using user is reading similarly you can do the uh, the the uh, uh, reverse 2 volt you can do the, this and 5 volt if you will do like this then what will happen again uh, now this row will be active this row will not be active because it is not passing the threshold of both the transistor but this row will be active and this guy will be on this will be on this this is black one right and this is blue one so blue one is programmed means like this will be off and this will be on so on and blue one will be off again what will happen here you will have vdd coming so b0 is b0 and b1 will be now since this will get shorted so 0 will become 1 so you have stored here uh, 0 and here 1 and you are getting 0 and 1 only right so that's how you can think of it uh, how to read it now if you will apply more voltage now what will happen if you will have apply uh, less voltage than 3 volt then both of the transistor will be off if you will apply more than uh, 7 volt let's say at r0 i am applying uh, uh, r1 will be 2 volt let's say and r0 i am applying 8 volts right 8 volt i am applying so what will happen both of the transistors will be on if both of them will be on what will happen this guy will also get connected to uh, zero and this guy will also get connected to zero right zero will come here zero will come here one one you will get so b zero will be one b one will be also one right so it depends upon uh, the switching on of this guys will depend upon uh, uh, the the uh, voltage you are applying but mind you you can't apply this voltage why because i told you you will only apply the voltage in between these two guys so this is 7 volt this is 3 volt so you are applying more than 7 volt right here so this this is this will not be uh, uh, considered as as uh, the the 
uh, means like proper functioning means you have to apply in between these two voltage to read it uh, proper reading will be there this is your wrong reading okay so you have to apply in between and whichever you don't want to read it you apply here in between these 0 to 3 just to keep the transistors off we are applying in this range else we will only apply in this range or to read the transistors okay so by applying this voltage in between this you are cutting off all the rows uh, only one row will be active at a time and uh, uh, when one row will be active that voltage has to be between these two okay so uh, so in this case what will happen one will give current one will not and that's how you are getting uh, uh, what uh, what data is being stored if you will apply more than this both of them will be on and you will get uh, wrong reading okay so this thing you have to uh, uh, keep in mind so you have to apply in this in between these only right so you can see that you stored uh, here uh, one and zero but you are getting one one so that is wrong right because you have applied more than uh, the required uh, the uh, the required uh, voltage so this is how you 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 can extend this array means you can have seven eight um, in one row and then you can have eight nine or rows and you have a big giant grid or array uh, which will be uh, filled with uh, famos transistors okay and if you have to erase it what will happen so if uh, i'll remove this and if you have to erase these guys you just uh, you take this this ic eject it from from the circuit where it is stored and you apply uv radiation for half an hour or one hour and all these transistors colors will change into black right so this is like resetting the the memory and then you write uh, these guys again with some other data and use it as a rom mind you our uh, uh, read speed will be around uh, nanoseconds and write speed will be around microseconds which is still working as a rom not uh, ram so that is um, something you should be knowing and the problem is i had already told you you have to eject it out and do the radiation and then put it back uh, by writing it after writing with some other data so that is like a cubersum task you want the erasability function to happen within the circuit itself right and another uh, uh, thing is it is you have to erase the whole memory you can't erase this bit only uh, or this bit only you, you whole memory will be reset uh, or uh, erased uh, when you will do the uv radiation so that is another problem that's why we move towards double ep rom so this is it i will uh, just uh, give you a brief idea that's what my motive is uh, you can you can dig into these things uh, if you you if you are a microelectronics or vlsi student so there you will get much more depth okay i'm just covering the top uh, view overview type so let me give you the overview of double ep rom where you will be using flotox transistor which is just a variation of famos transistor